how's the new office? It's good. We're getting there. I guess that ready fire aim that I live by sometimes gets a bit frustrating. It's just furniture oh. everywhere. What is the deal with some grass types? Sir Walter Buffalo having a poor reaction to NSFW. This is definitely in your wheel, wheelhouse, not mine. Matter if they all get a medal. That means you yeah. might as well not all get a medal. Who has the BYD? What's it like? <laughs> <laughs> This is like, I can't go in the car. Yeah. How are you going to go home? I'll walk. Yeah. I'll just wait. Yep. Yeah. Everything's spinning. So let's had to pick me up once. I was on Paynham Road in someone's front yard under their tap, just drinking water in the front yard. <laughs> Could you imagine if you did that now and it was one of our fans' house? <laughs> Quick! <laughs> Quick! Get on the, get on the page! <laughs> uh, f- first podcast in the new building. Clint, where's your backdrop? Yeah, face. I don't know what happened. How come he got my backdrop? Uh, uh. Yeah, so the studio is uh, incomplete. Work in progress. Do we have a button for that? The opposite to this. Mission complete. <laughs> yeah, just the opposite of that. So we hopefully the owner of this building will come past at some point and look at putting a wall behind Jonesy. You probably won't be able to see that there's no wall behind Jonesy because we've got a fake wall behind Jonesy. But the idea will be that we'll have a TV screen... Is that light in any shot? Where's the other camera gone? So let's still be sitting there. <laughs> All right. Well, eventually there'll be a camera pointing over there and there'll be a TV screen there. So when we put stuff up on the screen, Jonesy doesn't have to go. Fuck, don't look into that light though. Jesus, I just had a look like envisioning the TV and I looked straight in the light. Like that, you'd feel like that bird that they found in the warehouse yeah. yesterday? Oh, not, yeah. Not in a good way. That Did Adriana though. make a prayer? I, I think so. Yeah. It was not in a good way. Yeah. Yeah, it's really hot. Uh, the one good thing about this place is it's got a pretty crazy air conditioner. Yeah, and it's well, it's not gangster. In this room. But yeah, so I've got YouTube questions coming through on this platform. I'll I'll try and jump around and cover off your questions, but obviously we're eight days into November, and uh, for anyone that's been doing renovations or um, work on their lawn, you hope probably or hopefully starting to see the results of your hard work. But if you are having any issues or you want to ask any questions, that's what we're here for. Uh, and if you did watch last week's podcast, you will probably have notif- noticed that um, a lot of the things that Jonesy talks about that Nathan concurred with. So um, I think he got one of those like um, recognition of prior learning certificates last week or some <laughs> shit. Get Kira to knock one up. Yep. Yep. Well, Serena, she's good at graphics as well, isn't she? Haven't met her yet. I've got to go to Dry Creek next right. week and meet her. And then I've got to go meet the KT team. You don't know them? Oh. Know them digitally. There you go. I'm just trying to get onto Facebook to see if there's any questions over there. How's the uh, Lawn Hub Legends group going? Yeah, it's over 200 now. <laughs> Direct diaries. Damo Mansfield's got it sorted. Direct diaries. There you go. Alliteration, kid. Direct diaries. Oh, you sent that to me. I'm just telling it back to you. Yeah. Fuck. So you already knew that. That was a bit of a letdown. What the hell? Oh, I've got some new sounds. We haven't had a good prime minister since John Howard. Stand by that. Yep. Sensible question. Sensible question. Haven't had one of them for a while. <laughs> I don't think you have the facilities for that. That's new. That's a good one. I like that one. They're eating the dogs. They're eating the cats. Uh, I was wondering how long it would take for President-elect Donald Trump to uh, pop up in the podcast. We can confidently say his name now without being shadow banned. Yeah, that would be a bit um, discriminative, wouldn't it? It was discriminative before. It would be even worse now. So when does he officially take over? We need to stream uh, the podcast on X. I tried signing up for a paid X account to start running ads and it's just a fucking head fuck. Yep. Lots of challenges there. So, yeah. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> I got bronchitis. <laughs> I woke up to go get me a cold pop. Uh, there's no questions on Facebook, so I guess that's it. Uh, end of the podcast. Great podcast. Uh, I'll see everyone next week. Same time. Jack Chapo. Hey, mate. Good to see you back. See? See? Fucking Nathan and his fancy talking. Why does Adam debrand his water bottle? Because they're not a sponsor of the podcast. Yeah. Either are 
these people. I've said it before. We're always after a water sponsor. Yeah, that's we not had my one fault. For a bit. I kind of let that fall over. That's I'm not good with managing that shit. Someone uh, else has to do that stuff. Yeah. Well, side quester. Side quester. I think that's we've got a side quester. Yeah, we do. We just need to delegate. Very good one too. I must admit. Oh God, don't. She can probably hear you. Don't take that shit. Uh, <laughs> podcast rocks. <laughs> what? She was listening. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think she's one of those um, people that logs into TikTok with a fake, like. User, User four nine eight seven, yeah. yeah, and then just listens to the podcast, and then I'll be like, "Yeah, how was your week? How was the podcast?" I'm like, "Yeah, hey, it was alright." Didn't really know what um what was said, and she can't talk about it because she's like, "Oh yeah, I didn't know." <laughs> what do we got going on here? X rated, direct diaries, X rated, Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> little Jimmy's mate. That's the username, Little Jimmy's mate. Where are these coming from? Instagram. Uh, I can probably do that as well, to be honest. Oh no, my phone's in. My phone's in one of those perpetual loops of posting but not posting. You know when it's like I can't change because I'm stuck. He doesn't know what's going on. Uh, I'm surprised that phone's still gone. <laughs> So. Adriana and Isaac had a real uh, difficult time when I told them that I I have phones for six months and then I get new ones. It's been longer than six months. It's probably been six months since you snapped it. <laughs> it's a bit pen, isn't it? it? Scared the fuck out of me. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but I um slammed it on the table one day and it bent but didn't break. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Cause he was real scared. Oh, we're working. <laughs> we're working. Yeah, you can see underneath. <laughs> and then fucking. <laughs> Why aren't we live streaming on Spotify? We can't because we don't have enough followers. You just can't. Doesn't Joe Rogan? No. Someone does that, don't they? Do we post it on Spotify as a video? Oh, there you go. Uh, that's the answer to your question. Dylan's not good enough and we're not Joe Rogan. Oh, someone, someone must stream live on Spotify, surely. Three Direction? <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Dylan. I, I, thought, I thought you would have got that one straight away. Being a hipster. Kira would have laughed at that one. She would have. Miss you, Kira. Uh, okay. Hello. So, How are you? I am under the water. Why does Adam D. Brand is water boat chapeau? You're too much raining. Oh, that goes. <laughs> I usually don't let it finish. Uh, Podcast Rock, thanks for all your help. That's from PJ Jack Chapo. Definitely top dressing fixer. I think they're having a conversation. What's your height of cut? Says, hey guys. There's no questions. It's really weird. Eh? Sometimes it's like we'll get we'll get slammed at one yeah. point though. Nah, go for it. Are Depends we, where you are. We're still even. doing giveaways. We just haven't. We don't know what they are. Well, we obviously got the swordman. Yeah. So that we could probably talk about that. I just need to work out what we're giving away. The weekly ones. Yeah, I'm not sure. Um. I suppose we'll live broadcast it. What do you guys think we should give away? So what we're going to do this month is we've got a swordman that I bought and it's currently at Daryl Suter's house, I think, Yeah, getting sprayed orange. Is that all he's doing? He's uh, putting a fucking what, like even the internals, supercharger on it. Yeah, all the internals are going to be orange as well. It's going to get a big lawn hub sticker on what's, it. So. What's, what do you mean the internals? Like it's not a... It's not just an it's outside. Not a, it's not a closed door spray if we're talking car tires. Yeah. He's taken it all apart yep. to be fully Probably orange. Done. So if, if at ever point it needs to be taken apart, it'll be orange yeah. everywhere. Um, we need to talk about the lawn hub sticker though because I think the way it was done before didn't look right. Like an orange on the orange doesn't look right. Like if you had that color config, it does, doesn't look right on the catcher, yeah? Well, yeah. Can the catcher be black or will it look stupid? Not enough orange then. Oh, if, it, if you want it to be black, we probably should let him know. Hey, Daryl, <laughs> make it black. See you, Celeste. So, uh, but in the weeks that lead up to that, we need to give something away. Yeah, what do you want to give away? What do people like? What do the people like? I was going to say before, this is like a public service announcement for Stuart, the winner of the Robo Mower. Please answer my phone calls. <laughs> Have you texted him? Yeah. Rang, text, emailed. Hmm. What's what's state are they in? Victoria, I think. Fuck going there to go knock on their door. I was gonna say if it was Queensland, I'd be like, I can go up there. 
<laughs> and knock on the door. Stuart S. Are we live on Instagram? I'm guessing you can't watch yourself on Instagram. Hey, what? What? Hey. Yep, there's me on my phone. Me and Jones are just on our phones. Yeah. Yeah, um, Stuart S. from... Great podcast. Damon Mansfield. The people like Bush. Fucking finally. We've got a question from Pork Hunt. G'day, gents. I'm doing a new turf install soon. 120 square meters of thatch tough. And I'm curious to know how much underlay to use to replace the clay that's there now. As much as physically possible. I read that word for word. Well done. Is that verbatim? University graduate? Izzy, you got a degree? How many? Just the one? <laughs> Fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm waiting for Harvard to give me some kind of business acknowledgement. I'll get there. We'll go do like a, an address or some shit. Yeah, as much as physically possible, to be honest with you, it's the perfect, it's probably the really the only time that you're going to be able to do it. So if you can take 100 mil out, take 100. If you can take 200, take 200. Um, Damo Mansfield says 300 mil. Well, if you can do 300, that would be, that would be, That'd be USGA type spec, but yeah, um, just yeah, as much as possible. More is better. In this case, more equals more better. Wait a minute. <laughs> Who are you? Fix it fingers. Top of chat. My first question. Oh, come on, dude. All right, hang on. Uh, yeah. Why does? I know oh, that's not you. Thatching first, then top dressing. Is that a is that your is that you're saying that's a question? Thatching first, then top dressing. Yes. <laughs> it's not a question. It's a comment. Liam's been singing for fourteen yet years. Yet his biggest hit was the concrete. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Flockus giggle. Is it worth spending the coin on a Scotty B or are the Massports and Bushmasters, Bush Rangers, worth the coin? Uh, it depends on what you what you want, right? Mm. Like uh, to buy a Scotty, they're overpriced for what they are. They are coming down though. But they... so are Commodores and Tiranas and Kingswoods and Monaros. And, you see that VXSS you know, on car sales? 1.5 million. 1. 5 mil. <laughs> so... I have all three of those mothers <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> I think if you buy a Scotty and get it Renault, and if it's a good one as well, like if you go buy a, a unicorn or a rare one, not a good one, they're all good, you can tend to be a little bit more cautious in using them. And I find that if I hit my Scotty into a wall, I feel bad. Whereas with the Massport and the Bush Ranger, I'm not as concerned about it. I did see yesterday, I think it was Allmake had a 20, a Bush Ranger 20 for 19.99. That's what they're selling them for at the moment, which I think, um, what is it, $10 an inch is about, is that $100 an inch? Sorry, $100 an inch is about good. Makes you a $200 special. But yeah, if you can get it for that price, I don't know. The, I'm, I'm really torn between those two brands. Uh, I do like the Massport. I'd like to get a 20-inch mass port. I don't have one mm. of them, do I? Do I have one of them? Not What's in the shed? Not a 20. That's a 16 and a half, 17. Yeah. Eight. It might have been What's at my inch. house? A 14. I've got a small one. Yeah, small ones at Dry Creek. And then... it. All, I mean, it also depends what you're into. If you... It like, for me, to get a Scotty, really, if you're looking for something brand new, unless you're paying above market price, you're not going to get a brand... A, Brand new renovated Scotty. No, well, I saw there the... was a unicorn the other day for five grand, I reckon. Yeah. And to be honest, mine's cost, mine's, that's what mine's cost to get to where it is. Mm. I bought it bare for 1700 and I reckon Daryl, it was like three grand to get it yeah. there. Russ Worth just commented on Instagram. He runs a Scott Bonner page and he said, certainly, but it's worth what someone is willing to pay. And that's completely yeah. like the honest truth. Um, I guess it's the same as anything. Like a house is, you know, um, worth what the highest bid is. And those uh, Scotties are the same. And like Jonesy was touching on, they've started to come down. I think that's symbolic of um, bubbles. You know, there's bubbles in everything and, you know, real estate, mm -hmm. pin pinball machines. Pinball machines are starting to correct as well. Like during COVID, pinball machines went through the roof. Now they're like, I don't know if I was I with one of you yesterday. I saw on, was it you? Yeah. So Pinman, which is a Facebook page that sells pinball machines throughout COVID, they would 
like get a container of machines from the US, photograph like like almost like oh what's in it, and then they just slowly filter them out and they'd go bang sold bang yeah. sold bang sold. Yesterday he posted like twenty five pinball machines in one post with wow. the links to their photos. So I'm like that that says something. Yeah, it does. Um, and to like if I went to sell my Scotty now, I don't. I think maybe because it was mine, someone might pay four, but like it's it's not five. Yeah, and you can get a brand new Bush Ranger twenty inch for two grand. Two grand, that's yeah. right. So, so you could buy the Massport and the Bush Ranger for the. But we're also not just talking unicorns either. So no, no. Um, but to be honest, yeah, unless you know they, the seventeen inch still goes for about eight hundred, twelve hundred bucks unrestored. Yeah, like and two and a half restored. Yeah, like. It, it's all respective. If you want the Scotty appeal, then absolutely. Yeah. Like they're good machines. They're so easy to work on. Yep. Um, but if you're not mechanically minded, you know, I'd probably lean more towards a brand new one because then you can take it back to the shop you bought it from. And, <laughs> um, I, yeah. and I've said this before, but Bush Ranger's warranty is yeah, pretty good. <laughs> over the top. So I haven't had a, I haven't had to test mass ports. I'm sure we had a mass port in the shed. At, yeah, there is. Yeah, it's a 17. What have we got there? We've got the, the Bush Range, no, the yeah, Scotty. Are, I think there's I thought two, you said there was three moles there. There's the 14, the 20. Yeah. What's the 20? Oh, my unicorn's yeah. there, isn't it? Yeah. Fuck, I should probably go get that. Freshly sharpened from last year too. No shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> remember I dropped it off at Daryl's and he fixed your rollers. I need to mow. I, I should go pick that up because I want to mow my front lawn. My It's all getting, my um, mass port, when I push it, it goes da-dunk, da-dunk, like the wheel. But I can't find anything in yeah, the wheel. Okay. I don't know. Send it back. I was going to throw it out. <laughs> Maybe I'll give that away this week. Uh, uh, good one, G O D D E O one. Afternoon. What do you recommend for a renter to get decent looking, weed free lawn for Christmas? Well, you've come to the right place. Uh, if you want a lush, green, weed free lawn for Christmas, it depends on the weeds. Uh, the weed and feed pack, which we have available at lawnhub.com.au, is perfect for what you've asked for. Uh, but if you have weeds that include winter grass, nut grass, onion grass, any grass, it's not probably going to work for you. Uh, what I would recommend, two things I would say. One, if the weeds aren't that bad, you could probably just get our lawn builder pack, which is quite cost effective and perfect for a rental. If you start applying that now, mowing regularly and watering when required, you'll find that by Christmas you've got a lush green lawn. If you want a lush green weed free lawn, then you could probably add NSFW, but it really depends on the weeds that you have. Uh, so that's a good answer to that question, right? But that's perfect. That's exactly what I would have said. See, so. it's probably what Nathan would have said. Yep. So fuck you all. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I shouldn't talk like that to people. Uh, Billy Wood 90. Hello, I'm wanting to know what is a good weed killer for my cooch grass that's filled with weeds? Well, this is almost this is putting just, them on the tee for me to smack yeah. them over the fence, aren't they? Just need a button for it just to repeat. NSFW uh, is what you're looking for, but... Obviously, it depends on the weeds. And for anyone that is curious around that kind of thing, please uh, send us photos through on any of our socials. They go through to a uh, platform that gets monitored by a fully trained and qualified answerer, uh, and then he'll be able to help identify the the problems and then give recommendations around what you might use to sort that out. You know what he said the other day? He said he, that he feels like he learns more here mm. than he does mm. in the classroom. That's it, it, you could take that yeah. fucking sentence yeah, and, and put it on anything. Yeah. Um Izzy said that the rapid work like magic. The, the rapid. Yeah, the hydroforce rapid. <coughs> I did have to ask about that. Has he watered? Yes. Yes. Um did we film? Yes. Okay, cool. We tried, it was so windy. We what cameras don't work in the wind? No, the the microphones. Oh. So we had we filmed but then come inside. Yeah, B roll. Well good bro. It, it's it might be a bit chopped up, but yeah. It Does. doesn't matter. No one watches it anyway. So on TikTok, Daniel said, ever done work at golf courses? Uh, I have. I've cooked breakfast for people at golf courses. Um, I've done. I've hunted for golf balls in the bushes. But no, not actual work. So uh, we, I own a business called uh, Water Pro, which does a lot of work with golf courses. So I'm across golf courses. Um, I by no means have worked on golf courses, but we have a relationship with... 80% of the South Australian golf courses, I'd say, mm. in some capacity, be it just a good relationship where we help them if they need help and they don't buy stuff all the way up to they buy all the irrigation from us. Mm. But um, we actually got some content coming up at a golf course. Did you know that? Did not know that. Yeah, so... Is it the one where the creek's full of sand? Yes. All right, cool. Yeah. 
So that's the ex- exciting video coming soon. <laughs> Says you. It might be shit. Might be, but it, it'll <laughs> it'll show people that. Who's editing that one? Yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah, the club's actually quite excited for it. So, of course they are. They get yeah. to work with you. Well. <laughs> yeah. uh, Daniel also on TikTok. Yeah, the hens. What? Oh, sorry. I thought that was Daniel still talking. Yeah, the hens. I have a uh, three meters by seven meters lawn. So that's 21 square meters for those of you that went to school in Gawler. Okay, I got that. Thank you. Okay. I laid it recently and it needs a mow soon considering a manual push mower. You could probably do that. Mm. Um, I think the only thing to really be aware of if you're going to use a manual push mower is frequency of mow. If your lawn gets too long, it's going to be a bitch and you just really like in this weather mowing three times a week mm. doing that. And sharp blades for manual push mowers. That makes all the difference. Uh, also on TikTok, Tom underscore CDXX. My co-workers were just talking about Lawn Hub today and the funny names they have. It's good stuff. Also, Tom, do you ever brush cut to the dirt? Yes, absolutely. All the way to the dirt. It's, uh, it's a good – you can do it for many reasons like scarifying um, or scalping, sorry. You can do higher cut resets. You, yeah, it's very beneficial at least once a year on warm season grasses to, yeah, cut it down to dirt except buffalo. Don't do it on buffalo. Yeah, if you've hit dirt, you've gone too deep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Sorry. That's that a nice comment, how the products rock, because that thread the other day, oh, God. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got to be careful posting on those platforms on Friday and Saturday nights if I've yeah. been drinking. Um, if you come at Lawn Hub. Um, During those times. Well, yeah. at all, to be honest. Yeah, well, and we have enough people that come in if we're not on yeah, it early. Yeah, but if you come at... Like Lawn Hub and Water yeah. Pro are my children. Yeah, you come at right. us, we'll come at you. <laughs> so I will fucking defend mm. them with, with everything possible. Um, I fucking didn't send that. I was meant to send that guy some stuff. I should still do that. All right. Hashtag the Diddy files. But um, <laughs> did you, so I was listening. Did you see that deal? You wouldn't have been across it. Nah. <laughs> you know, got taken down before. You know Kesha's song, TikTok? What? Wake up in the morning feeling like P. Diddy. Yeah. Yes, that was on the radio. Wake up in the morning feeling like. She did it live a they while ago and she's like, wake up in the morning, fuck P. Diddy. So that's what it's he, the song. It's the, you can't change the lyrics. That's what made you all that money. You can't deter from Is the, that like Bill Cosby's TV shows? Just keep them going. Yep. Yep. Don't let a little... Don't let a little hiccup get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, they were all little hiccups, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, that's right. Too soon? All right, fuck, move on. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Dylan. When did Gen Z move in? Fuck yeah. Yeah. We can talk like this now. Fuck, that That meme that... Uh, did Kira Elon, make Elon that Gen Z meme? Oh, yeah. Fuck, that was so funny. That was ready before the ads were ready. Yeah, okay. And I said, post it, and she's like, should we wait? I'm like, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, I'm just like, post it, post it. Fuck, it Have we seen Sith lately? Is he floating around in here? He was in last week. Yeah, he's here. Fucking hello. All right, cool. Jack me off. Uh, what is client's idea of for his corner area of his backyard? Uh, that is me, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh, it is going to be a gym with a sauna and an ice bath and a half-court basketball court. And if I can buy the block next door, a, a T block. That's the answer. Kira says, G'day, Sithy. Oh, God, now the fucking Kira's not here, but she's still <laughs> she's still engaging in the podcast. She would be working as well, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, did she get more monitors, did she? I was like, we should definitely get everyone more monitors. We don't have enough monitors. Uh, ah, Mandurang, how much closer are you to ordering your Hellcat? Well, funny you should ask. Um, because they're they're coming down, mm. same as the Scotties. Yeah. So I had another one pop up. I guess the short answer is medium. I'm not that close. Um, well, the outgoings in the last two weeks have been quite quite substantial, dude. We just the fork. Do you know about the fork? Yeah. yeah. So, um, I think that I think that's a needed. I've spent enough mm. money in this building to buy that car cash. <laughs> Twice over. Oh, not including the machines. Yeah. So five but, times yeah, over. Yeah, five times over. Yeah. But it's more important than um, – it's more important to keep selling fertilizer. Well, we always say it's always better to somewhat reinvest in the business to make it 100%. And anyone that doesn't do that is, um, won't be – Well, they don't pay their bills and they end up with people 
from they end up with like from our lawyers knocking on doors. Highly litigious business directors to taking them to court and bankrupting them. That's a, such a it's such a powerful move if someone owes you money just to liquidate them. Yeah, <laughs> just don't wait, don't wait around. No, nah. yeah. and nobody got time for that. No, where is that? Um, it's here somewhere. Uh, no, uh, not financial advice. <laughs> that one too. No, nah, Clint, I was referring to fix it. Yeah, I, I can't see the chatter. I can just see the comments. So who was saying my question was at the top? Tell us more about the factory. Didn't we do this last week or the week before? Sorry, Mandarang, I should probably tell you anyway. And Facebook, Instagram. It's been Flo- actually a lot of updates this week. Flockus Giggle, give away a dinner with you two legends. Okay. That works inside the 20 or 25 of you that actually watch the podcast. <laughs> But for someone who doesn't even answer their phone when they've won a $3,600 robot mower or $3,000 cash, I don't know how many of them are going to be like, so hang on, what did I win? If they answer, you're like, dinner with me and Jonesy. Yeah. That's who? fucking sick. Yeah, like who? you just have to fly to Adelaide yeah. and we'll go out and have dinner. Uh, yeah, look, man, I'm going to have to just ask you don't call back. Me. Yeah, yeah. And they're well within their rights. Yeah. <laughs> Venjam, what's the lawn out the front of the office? That's tough. It's, and it is that it's it's a it's a hybrid of whatever cows eat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, at the moment. And yeah. Tough. yeah. Yeah. No, nah, it's, it's gonna be good. It's it is quite thatchy and, and it's gonna be dropped on its ass or to dirt as um the comment was before. That's gonna be really exciting. I was thinking about I'm that really surprised the other you day. haven't started it yet. Well you said not to. So No, I said make sure you film. Okay. That the last time I got was don't fucking touch the lawn just yet. And you need to film. All right, we can do that. I'll I'll drop it on its ass and get some, I'll get some sand in. Because we need to film. Yeah. Where do you want? Does the, the sand? irrigation need to be fixed? Yeah, there's two sprinkler heads that are fucked, but we've we've got the bodies. Well, and, I don't know. The, it depends who's going to give us the sand. Well, that's that's what I mean. I don't like, own a landscape supply I know. anymore. Well, like obviously we have to pay for it, but no, that's not true. Not necessarily, no. There'll true. be someone out there. That yeah. puts, okay, people watching that own Sound of Metal Yards. Yeah. Send us a send us a call. Yeah. Give us a call. Give us some free sand. We know what pit it needs to come from too, so we can do all that hard work for you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need a semi. <laughs> Although the rest of the fucking lawns around here could do with some sand. I don't know. That's going to take a bit of sand to bring it back up. Like 12 to 15 well, tonne. Oh, I don't We'd have to get a real good measurement on it. But my boot sinks into it. Yeah. And like I've got steel blues and I reckon. Maybe we could leave it and then just get gymnasts to come in and use it as a springboard and then we could film it and make TikToks and yeah. make money. And uh, <laughs> I lost him there. Mm. We had a visitor yesterday though. Oh, there's a question in here yeah. about the snake. How? Kira. Oh, okay. Did you see the snake down in direct? Yeah, I did. And it was about four foot. It was a brownie. And the eyes on it were the darkest black that I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. There's paint like that. You can buy it. It was in that snake's eyes. Yeah. Mm. You know what's fucked as well is you're not allowed to shoot them. No, it was just passing. It was doing nothing wrong. I've got no Well, it was being threatening. No. Yeah. If you threatened by snakes, it was being threatening. But it wasn't. Mm. I don't want to get all greeny, but it was fine. But if it was killing our grass, we'd kill it. No. No. I should be right. (laughs) Should be right. Just the grubs. The sign's gone. It is gone. They yeah. did pick that up today. Well, my dad was here before and yeah. I'm like, oh, the sign's gone. He's like, there was a sign here when I got here. Because there was a truck that pulled up on Tuesday that was, there must have been other signs that picked up and ours didn't get picked up on Tuesday. Well, we dropped the keys back to Regency Park today. I reckon they were like holding the sign as a ransom mm. sign against us. Oh, that's good. So, all right, I'm going to go through. There's a lot of questions here now, so I'm going to try and punch through these and actually answer them because I was very critical of everyone before for not asking questions. Uh, So, afternoon, dudes. We need your filth and rubbish talk. Cool. First podcast in the new building. Whoop, whoop. Clint, where's your backdrop? Cool. Podcast rocks. Thanks for all your help. Definitely top dressing fixer. Okay, so they've just started talking to each other. Chapo. Hey, mate. Good to see you back. Nah, Clint, I was referring to fix it. Happy to look at your mugs, but could do a live stream on Spotify. We've talked about that. Thomas Nisbet Smith, howdy team. How's the new office? It's good. We're getting there. Um, yeah, I guess that ready fire aim that I live by sometimes gets a bit frustrating. <laughs> it's just fucking furniture everywhere. Oh, it's fucking, yeah. It's, the flat pack's supposed to be easy. 
to a degree. No, yeah. You know what you're dealing with with flat yeah, pack. These are worse. This is diff- <laughs> this is fucking built yeah. different. Yeah. This. yeah. The they quali- haven't been great to deal with. Yeah. Quality is top tier, I would say. Quality is really good. It's mid tier. The next level up from this is not flat pack. No, but it, um, okay, it's better than IKEA. Let, okay, of the flat pack, it's at the top. It's at the top. Um, For office furniture, it's in the middle. Instructions are fucking well below shit, um, like yeah. below the table shit. Um, and service <laughs> today has been good. Service previous, not so good. What? So that, like, is off the glass pipe now and actually dealing with us? Well, no, he's not. No, I had yeah, to. I, no, it. no, not him. Like the, but he said he'll do your deal, man. And the, the deal interaction I've you, had with him, I'll never buy from them ever again. No, no. I, I, and we can't. Which is the most fucking ridiculous thing. We spent $33,000 once. Yeah. And we're going to open shit all the time. Mm. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, I, it's. Yeah. If anyone's curious, the furniture comes from Jason L. So if you weren't sure where not to buy furniture from, now you know. So, yeah, but the. The product's really good. It's it's very the good. The delivery's been ridiculous. Like half of it's here, half of it's on back order. We were told it was and that's not that's his fault more than their fault. So anyway. I think I think the dealings of one individual has has determined the final feelings towards Which again, it's business. like anything, man. Yeah. You can one it takes one shit cunt to ruin yeah. it for everyone. And see YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't say that on YouTube. Nah, nah. It'll come back though. What? Yeah, is that for real? Yeah. Butterfield says no C words on YouTube allowed. Really? Yeah. Butterfield, Isaac. Mm. It's just a word. Mm. But I don't like I love it. Yeah. Nah, not every episode. Anyway. He, he, that's the one word that is quite there's there's another word that he nearly said. But but this the the C bomb is is one that's kept close to our heart. Even though it's our favourite word. Why don't we just put it on Rumble then? Fuck YouTube. Fucking Democrats. All right, cool. Uh, What's the lawn out the front? We've dealt with that. Tell us more about the factory. The factory is uh, in Direc, D-I-R-E-K, not direct. Uh, It is adjacent to an Air Force base, which is probably going to cause us trouble at some point. Or them. Yeah, probably won't be able to send the drone. <laughs> I know yeah. for a fact you can't send the drone. But up, so. on the upside, I'm I'm starting to track the planes that spray the stuff in the sky and I reckon yeah. I know where they're coming from and we reckon we're going to go get some footage of it and prove yeah, it. Yeah, because how right. can we have a bushfire last week out the back <laughs> and then this morning it was raining proper sideways? Mm, I don't know. I'm not saying that they control the weather. Mm. but Legitimately bushfire out the back too. Yeah, It's a grass fire. There's no bush. Well, yeah, well, there's not any more. Uh, we've got 19 minutes to decide what we're giving away in 19 minutes, by the okay. way. Okay. Kira says... A merch pack. we got our merch in. We'll do a merch pack. Okay. Like a hat, shirt, jumper. In a Stubby. bucket? In a bucket. Skays is not going to be happy if there's no bucket. Yeah, we'll do a bucket. bucket 10, litre, you... 10 litre Trojan yeah, bucket. Done. Lock it in, Eddie. That'll go nicely in a large square and we'll pack it up and send it away. And if they're an adult, we'll stick some beer in there. We can four, try. Four pack of Clint cans. Safe on buff. Safe on buff. All right. Mr. Mumbles. G'day, lads. I'm here listening, watching and driving. (laughs) Fucking, I hope you're on private property. Um, G'day, all you legends out there. Jack Chapo, don't stress, Clint. What is the deal with some grass types? Sir Walter Buffalo having a poor reaction to NSFW. This is definitely in your wheelhouse, not mine. Does the time of application impact this? I've applied in cold periods and 30 degrees plus Bridgewater. Buffalo varieties are more susceptible to damage, not only to NSFW, but a lot of chemicals out there. It's just, it's the it's the family that Buffalo belongs to um, and they're susceptible to herbicide treatments, even some fertilizer treatments, to be honest. There's, um, you know, Element like there's outside of the MPK, obviously, there's a lot more elements. There's there are elements that you can buy that are, yeah, that will burn buffalo. Look, there's a lot of things that can contribute to burning, not just on buffalo. So, obviously, the weather, if it's too hot, if the plant's under stress and not healthy, that also opens it up to stress, uh, to, to damage, sorry. Um, and to, there's so many variables when it comes to burn. Also, spot spraying damage 
on Buffalo for spot spraying is a lot more severe. I had an email this morning, unfortunately. Um, yeah, it was one of. It wasn't the worst, but it wasn't. It wasn't great. Um, so, yeah, it, especially like it's it. NSFW is safe for all grass varieties. That that is. Um, that's not false. Um, it's just that sometimes discoloration can happen um, to certain grass types. That's as mentioned on the label. So. Um, yeah, if you're ever, ever, ever unsure, always do a test patch first um, just to, yeah, make sure. But, yeah, buffalo is more susceptible. Not all buffaloes and, like I said, for the reasons I mentioned before. Client's got a small one, pickle. Pickle. Rick. Uh, Christian Ritchie, I'm going to hire a core machine, but I'm worried that it might hit one of the irrigation pipes. What depth should I core to? So that's just I'll answer part of it and he can add more if he needs to, but irrigation systems are generally installed on the fringes of your lawns and it's rare and lazy to cut through the guts. Some people do it. If you've put the irrigation in yourself, obviously you can go mark where that irrigation exists. So obviously when Max was coring my house, I would just spray paint a line where I knew conduit had crossed and it was quite shallow. And then you just avoid those areas. Um, or you just punch the pipes and fix them and you'll learn where they are. In answer to the depth question, Jones, you can talk about that. In a perfect world, as deep as you possibly can. But if you've got irrigation lines like Clint said and you know where they are, just mark them and just avoid those areas. It's not going to be detrimental just to miss those areas. Like obviously coring is, like I said, like we've all said many times before, is one of the most beneficial things you can do to your lawn. But at the same time, you don't want to pierce your irrigation pipe because of, you know, the irrigation system won't work properly. You've got to leak, you've got to fix it, you've got to dig it up. So um, in a perfect world, as deep as possible, um, I know most higher ones you can get to 75 mil max total. Um, obviously on the golf course, they're a lot different. You can go down to 150 mil. Um, it's a, just a very different machine. But, um, yeah, in a perfect world, as deep as you possibly can. Fix it fingers. You've got the chat on top, not all, I'm guessing. I wrote, finished the Renault seven weeks ago, coming back great in places, still struggling in others. Is it worth doing another round on the bear patches? Of what? Renaulting. I think. I mean, we could to where where is Fix It Fingers? Is he in the shade area? I think his lawn's heavily Yeah, it's heavily shaded. I think for you, unfortunately, it's just going to take time. I think, <laughs> yeah, he's he. Well, I'm pretty sure we sent him some roots and shoots ages ago. Have you got plastic on the chair still? No, they do. <laughs> I think he would have seen my Instagram before, so they've been removed, bro. It's all good. Yeah, the chair condom. Most of gone. them, but yeah, who was that? That's Pablo Jabino, which is. <sighs> I've just had a blank. I don't even know if he, I'm allowed to say his actual name, but he was a um, a contact that we developed through the relationship at Railways. He's involved with a, a cricket club that we were sponsoring out there. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Also happens to fly in police helicopters. Um, so he probably would have seen it on Instagram because I did a story before. And the infrared through the police helicopter. <laughs> he's fucking, yeah, mm. definitely watching us. Yeah. No, he'd be like, no, take it away. Don't. He's a nice guy. Let him fucking cook meth there. See you, TikTok. Mate, if it was good enough for the Nazis, it's good enough for me. Meth? Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm, glad, I'm glad that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you should be able to clip that. Hey? Yeah. I don't care. What are they going to do? Well, the 200 people that watch the podcast, <laughs> they got that just free up their fucking <laughs> afternoon. Uh, from Pat Mack, lately I've heard a few debates about the best time of day to run irrigation. Personally, I like to run mine so that it finishes an hour or so before the sun comes up. How do you guys like to run yours? I'm, I'm a morning guy. Yeah. But I also understand and recognize that, and I've again, without sounding like a broken record, that is really windy at my place. So sometimes because I live in a suburban area and if the wind's going one way, it'll douse my neighbor's car which is just disrespectful um and i actually quite like my neighbors so that side 
So, um, yeah, sometimes I'll have to run it when I get home from work or at night time, but generally speaking, I'm a morning type guy. I have two completely automated irrigation systems that I use manually and I water when I remember. And usually it's because I go, oh, fuck, I haven't watered, which yeah. is a p what's happening right now. Yeah. Fuck, my lawn's dry. Yeah. Um, I water my back lawn in the morning to wash in my glypho piss from my dog. <laughs> Did you see the big thread on, I think it was Lawn Geeks this morning about dog piss and like this. Did anyone call it glypho piss? No. I, <sighs> I, I had only read the first few comments, but like – Everyone's like doing all these suggestions and he's like, I've tried it, I've tried it. And he's like at the end, I'm just fucking, I'm done with it. I'm just I'm just going to live with it. Excuse me. You can always get your dog put down. You can. Um, or teach your dog not to piss on your lawn. Like if you really care about your dog and you don't want to get it put down, you could just teach it to piss somewhere else. If you were dedicated, you're, I'm designing my Black Friday ads on 16 monitors. You're on the third. <laughs> <laughs> so that's where all the monitors are. <laughs> yeah. That was the problem. You buy 10 monitors and all of a sudden five people need dual screens. Mm. Uh, with Yeah, so I run my irrigation whenever. It's better to do it in the morning in, in my experience. You don't want wet grass at night, um, especially if the nighttime temperatures drop. You can have some issues with disease potentially. Humidity, microclimates. We've discussed microclimates before as well. I wasn't there for that. No, you were there. Okay, I've forgotten. Uh, Russ Worth uh, just added from the previous conversation about the, the mowers uh, that Scott Bonners are good. You've got to remember they've lasted 60 uh, years. Or more. Yeah. Yeah. No, 100, 100. And we uh, we obviously weren't deterring people away from Scotty's. Like I said, they are great machines. And um, yeah, they, they, like, if it, was, if it was purely my choice, that's all I'm using. Only because I know how to use them and, and work on them as well. But you know, understand that people does not always like that. So um, availability on parts these days on Scott Bonners is, is I, I would almost argue, better than stuff off the shelf. D. Howard, 1985. wonder if he was born in 1985. wonder if he's a he. I laid some new turf two weeks ago, fine leaf Kaikuyu. Is that a thing? Okay, cool. And I'm getting winter grass coming through. What do you recommend to get rid of it? Just your hand. <laughs> yeah, your hand and just 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 wait, just nothing. Just let it go. It'll the kaiku, once the weather starts to really heat up, will take over. And then heading into autumn. So after six months the kaiku's been down, get some pre emergent down and that'll stop the cycle. And why can't we use a winter grass killer on two week old kaiku, Adam? Uh for a couple of reasons. One, not all winter grass killers, actually a lot of winter grass killers aren't compatible with KQ. And secondly, the lawn is so young, it's it's just not worth the risk, especially, you know, if roll out turf these days, it's not cheap, it, depending on how much you've put in. Uh, the last thing you want to do is go spray something for something and then lose the entire lawn. So you'd rather have some weeds and healthy lawn than no weeds and no lawn. Damo says, pave the corner. I think he's referring to the corner of my house and then called me P. Clinty. <laughs> uh, TikTok, Barra AU, if you're still there. What's the best way to grow grass in patchy areas when dog is involved? <laughs> we should have a button for it. We, Michelle we, Obama <laughs> will be the next president of the United States. Well, that, that, that's not Mate, I'm starting it again. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I don't think the US is ready for a female president. No. Two from two. Um, if anyone well, was going to win it, it would be Michelle. They could take Michelle Obama into the next election because they can't take Kamala. She's a fucking retard. But you could take Michelle into the next election against who? Oh, plot twist. Because it can't be Trump. JD Vance, maybe. I liked, I, did you listen to his podcast? Yeah, I thought he was really good. Really well spoken. Yeah. Because Trump didn't answer any questions. Plot Sorry. twist. Plot twist. He will be Michael Obama next. Oh my how, God! And then, <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? No, 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 no! Why is she down there? Oh, you, you gotta give it. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, and then once they get in, she'll refer back to Michelle. Yeah. And then <laughs> that's that's how Bruh. the United States will get a female president because they just identify as one. That's how it's gonna work. 
Anyway, the back old to, hidden sausage trick. Back to <laughs> patchiness and dogs. Look, <laughs> sorry if you wanted an answer. It's one of the you know it's it's the age one of the age old questions. It's you can try new diets. You can try plenty of fresh drinking water. Clint runs an irrigation cycle to Dog wash nappies. it through. Um, roots and shoots in a bucket. We discussed that in a couple of videos. Unfortunately, in most cases, if those don't work, then it's just a coexistence. It's dog nappies. Yeah, dog nappies. You're just going to have to, unfortunately, um, come to terms that you're going to have a patchy lawn with the dog. Yeah, yeah. It sucks. But maybe your second wife doesn't want a dog. Who knows? It's funny you say that because I had an email today of, oh, and my wife has a dog. Yeah. Well, it, that's true, but if you live there, it's also... Oh, no, it's fucking it's not. Also My wife has dog. a dog and our family has a liability with four legs. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the same. And the argument that exists in my house is she's like, I, I want a dog. And I was like, we don't need a dog. Dogs just are an additional taxation that we don't need. Let's just not worry about it. it causes all these other problems. I want a dog. I'm like, right, cool. If we have to get a dog, I want to choose the breed. Mm-hmm. That's all it was. So now she's like, no, he's your dog. I'm like, no, no, I was just the specifier. Yeah. I'm not the orderer. And we got one, or you got one that doesn't like dealing with a gimbal. <laughs> it also doesn't like other dogs unless mm. it knows them. He started to recognize local dogs and so he won't go nuts at the local dogs. Oh, and um, racism warning, he barks at people in burkas and people with dark skin. So... Oh, I'm not going to say what I was I don't say. think it's because he's racist. I think because he wants to go see them. Because the other thing with dogs, I don't think he hates the dog. He's just like, hey, 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 hey. Let's, Alan, let's, Alan. Let's talk. Can we hang out? Can we hang out? Whereas the other dogs that he's used to, he's like, I've, I've met Bruce seen them. before. Yeah. He's a fucking prick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's really little. Don't like little mm. dogs. No. Nah. So, yeah. But um, then the other end of the spectrum, there's my dog that will fucking just go straight for the jugular. Doesn't like any. Dogs. Yeah, really. Yeah, she no, she no good. Yeah. Well, maybe you can get your dog put down. Nah, she's alright. Okay. She means. Well. You just said she was no good, so I just with the other dogs. Oh, okay, that's yeah. cool. Well, maybe Sarge could come and meet your dog. Mm. Well, they could fight it out. Maybe Sarge dies. I don't think maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um. Barra, uh, just to add to his yeah. uh, patchy areas with his dog, has said, I've got sandy soil too. Appreciate the advice. Yeah, the the, the advice still stands. Sandy, yeah, it, if anything, probably need more water depending on, on the type of sandy. Damo's gone so abstract. I don't know what the fuck's going on, but he's just said, Fornum tax that lawn. Phantom tax? Phantom tax? That's not a word that's in my vocabulary, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Damo again. Merch. Buffalo is a wide leaf closer to the weeds, thus more sensitive. That's, that's, that's yeah, that's true. Uh, now, emergency. Now, emergency plumbing. Hey, lad, this is just for you. <laughs> Laid Kaikuya three weeks ago, coming along nicely. Just want to know when is safe to use pre emergent. Any tips on wear and tear from dog tracks? Take your dog to Jonesy's house. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, Pre-emergent, six months from laying, um, and I would stick to that, as Nathan discussed last week, um, for the reasons that they actually don't use pre-emergent anymore. Um, (laughs) But in terms of uh, dog wear and tear, um, you can try and somewhat alter the dog's track, and I know that's difficult sometimes. So say, for example, if he, if he or she, the dog, comes out of the back door and runs dead straight every time, maybe put an obstacle there so they have to go left and then vice versa, like, change it up. Um, but, yeah, pre-emergence, definitely wait till the six months. I could not recommend that. Uh, I've got a, got a question from Josie Ray. Does your dog go out and get other people's dogs pregnant? Uh, no, my dog is female and a sex. Yeah. Did, did Josie tell you about that? No. So, tell me the story. Sorry, Josie, if you want to tell Clint or the rest of the world, the rest of the, the world, the 226 people that are going to watch this um, over the next 40 years. But, um, <laughs> yeah, Josie, it's meaningful yeah. work. <laughs> Josie's dog uh, has been sick lately. So, uh, infections and swelling in the lady dog areas. So, um, Josie did a quick Google search and thought it was an internal infection, rang the emergency vet, and they, they said, well, yeah, they are the symptoms, bring her in. Yeah. Oh, no, she's pregnant. No shit. And uh, her so other dog's what? female. Oh. 
So it's there's two her. dogs at her house that are female. They're both pregnant. Uh, no, only only <laughs> only honey is, because uh, the other one's dissexed. Um, and the vet reckons that another dog, while the, her dog was on heats, jumped the fence, root and booted, and fucking see you later. <laughs> Um, so we said this morning, uh, law uh-huh. and order SVU <laughs> for dogs because this is a crime. This is a heinous crime on dum, dum. yeah <laughs> on uh, on honey. So I don't have it. No law and order. Oh fuck! I used to love watching that. Dun, dun, dun. You know that Angel loves it too. We're at like season seventeen or something. Sixteen, seventeen. Uh, SVU. Mm. Yeah. I'd, I'd, it's one of those shows where you know that the main character is going to be okay, but you still get on there. That's why see? I watch Disney, man. Like, <laughs> Lauren is the best. It's fucking three quarters of the way and I'm crying and then it comes home happiness. Yeah. Uh, Luke Green, new studio looks great, but where the fucking lawn hub is the casting couch? That's still at Dry Creek upstairs in the lunch Yeah. I guess we could get to a point where we just have two casting couches up here. Yeah. I don't know. This is meant to be more serious than that. Nah. Nah. Uh, They're only serious for guests. <laughs> twenty-five season twenty-five for bloody bearded Sith. Uh, if you've got children in the car, block their ears before I read this. I don't know what this references, but I'm going to read it anyway because we are an open and transparent podcast. Bearded Sith, not true, Jonesy. If my wife has a yeast infection, it's not a yeast. It's not my yeast infection. <laughs> That's the whole thing. I'm guessing Jonesy's just um, got some bad news or something. No, not bad news. Just news? Just news, yeah. Uh, Where else did I get a message from? Mudge sent me a message before saying um, something about the birthday. He goes, what are are the birthday cake bills coming in at these days? Yeah, well, I suppose that's what happens when you grow. Yeah, it's all relative. More birthdays. Pack more fertilizer, buy more cakes. Okay, so I think I read all that. Everyone sent him roots and shoots. They're, these guys are having a conversation. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Three o'clock. All right, let's give away something, an undeterminable um, a gift, but it will include some merch. Uh, I'll try and get the value up to $500 by adding random shit to it, and then we'll start advertising it. So we'll give one away today. Do we have the numbers? Do we need a fifth media staff member? That's right. We've made it up on the spot. Yeah. MSU. If either of you want to do that, that'd be great. The next one after that up until right now. I can do the right now. The right now. So we're going to give away a merch pack, including beer, if you can prove that you're over 18. Just got to tick the box. Like the porn sites, right? <laughs> yeah, the next one. No, the, as in not, it's the one that was the, the last number of that, not the winner. Of that draw. Because the winner's one of the numbers. You did go to university in Australia and finished, right? <laughs> so that draw. I don't do the giveaway. That's Kira's side. Oh, Kira. Kira, bring. 14 of your screens here. Business, business. Why are there unfulfilled orders? Are they pickups? Yeah, there's like 100. Have they been transferred? Yeah. Why have they not been fulfilled then? They don't get fulfilled until they've been picked up. No, so they get made available, don't they? Yeah, but in... Oh, them, they probably haven't been released yet. But in terms of pickups. Yeah, like all of these are there today. Where are the the 63 orders sitting there? Where are they? Oh, they'll be local pickups. So when they. But so, they've been transferred. Yeah. So say you order a pickup. Yeah, I understand. Right, and you get the email. Yeah. That doesn't fulfill. No, I know that. Yeah. So they only, they only get fulfilled once they've been picked up. Not once they get transferred. No. But they get notified that they're yes. available. Yes. That's weird. I don't think that's right. No, that's right. I know you think it's right. I don't think it's <laughs> right. I know it's right. <laughs> oh, cool. Dylan's here. That one doesn't count. It's the next number. Random number. 
No, I don't. I do whatever the fuck I want. Say that again. Eight. <laughs> Eight six eight two three is the start of the giveaway. The end of the giveaway is eight seven six one two. Correct. Eight seven six one two. All right. So I'm turn my screen around for those of you that have questions about the integrity of what we do. Izzy will tell me if that is actually able to be seen on his camera by raising a thumb. What you can be seen. Oh my. One minute he doesn't want to be involved in the podcast, the next minute he wants to take over. Are we there yet? Can you bless me with something, money-wise? Ready? Generate. Eight. Eight, seven, zero, one, four. All right, you guys saw that? We're full of integrity. Eight, seven, zero, one, four. Eight, seven, zero, one, four. Are you ready? We'll say it together. Matthew, Matthew C. C. <laughs> from Clayfield, Queensland. Congratulations, Matthew. Uh, you've made one order with us on the 4th of November of a Weed and Feed 200. 2nd of November. No, it was fulfilled on the 4th. Mm. As a weekend order. Uh, and you just won $500 worth of random shit that you probably don't need or want, but you're getting it anyway. So there'll be some beer in there um, and some other stuff. We'll need you to tell us how big you are. And we're talking about jumpers, all right? Don't get too excited. Yeah, if someone records that, I'll uh, send an email and follow up and get some sizing. Harry oh, Hyper. gone now. His name is Muerte. Matthew C. Nathan C. No, it is. It's gone. Matthew C. Two H's, one Q. Did you get the hub number? <laughs> Did you burp that comment? Yeah. It's the donuts that Luke had downstairs. Yeah, I didn't have one. What was the what? 87014. So that's good. Congratulations. You're a winner. Harry Hyper. Hey, guys, quick question. Can one use AdBlue fuel additive as a liquid fertilizer? I wouldn't. That's not its intended purpose. What's in it? I think it's like urea and a bit of shit and a bit of stuff. Yeah. That's... Have you seen how much it costs? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't be fucking putting it on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Probably a good time to just remind everyone to just only use uh, any products as directed. Uh, and if pain yeah, still persists, products, yeah. see your doctor. Uh, what did this say? Mojo Scope TikTok. What are you guys talking about? Can you say racist shit? Ah, uh, well, that's a. It's not racist. Yeah, we. Um, yeah, Nazi's not a race. It's an ideology. We weren't being racist. We were being ideologist. Yeah? Ist? I don't know. It was a fucking joke, okay? I know we're not comedians, but we are allowed to say jokes, and it's not meant to harm anyone. I'm sorry. Josh Harris, Jonesy, will money shot kill Moss? Yes. Just at the standard rate? Yeah. Yeah, iron products or iron sulfate um, will we'll burn the Moss, but... Ideally, you need to get to the cause as to why the moss is coming. So if it's shade and dampness, try and eliminate the shade and the moisture. What's the best thing to do to for your? What's the best thing to do to for your lawn to supplement it not haven't enough sunlight? I've noticed that my F tough is not growing as well in the shadier areas of my lawn. From DMA... To you lick. Yeah. Sunshine. Yep. Unfortunately, yeah. Tiff Tough being Cooch Variety, I don't care what the people that's selling it say, it is not going to do well in shade. We know this. It's a Cooch Variety. Clint struggles with the same areas of his shaded lawn with his Tiff Tough. As a, ideally, you need, you need sunlight. There's <laughs> there's products available, but they're not going to be as efficient or as good as sunlight. Jack Chapo, frustrating when not all orders are available to be picked up at Kent Town. Jack, I'll let you in on a secret that's like on the edge of happening. If we have troubles with pickups in any capacity moving forward, I'm going to remove Water Pro as a pickup location for, for Lawn Hub and which will make it impossible for you to pick up them from anywhere. We've had... 
internal bullshit from, and I'm this is I'm not angry at you, but I get what you're saying. With like people complaining about shit, because what happens is people order online, and these are the people that get um, like the government helps a lot with their continuing to stay alive. So they order shit online, and then they walk straight into a water pro and go, "Hey, I'm here to pick up this order I fucking bought in the car park 30 seconds ago." And it causes a lot of trouble. So you can probably tell that we, we had some fucking dramas this week with it, especially now that we're here. So Dry Creek was a pretty good location because the guys could just go out and pick it. They can't do that now. Um, if it gets too much trouble, I'm just going to remove Water Pro as pickup locations. And if people want to go buy the stock from there, they can. The other, the other problem is, so when you make a product available on the Shopify website, which is what Lawn Hub uses, I... <laughs> It's very hard to manage things like some chemicals because I might only have, say, 10 in stock. But if I divvy it out over the locations, it's you've got to handle it three times as much to make sure each store has location, uh, each location has stock when technically they do have. It's so, it is one of the hardest things to do. So I just, yeah, it's really hard. And like Clint said, it's, a lot of internal, a lot of external. It's it's that it is a headache unless we just have one pickup location. No, we just have none. Or none. Get fucked. Okay. <laughs> Get fucked. Yeah. But yeah, um, it is. It's it is. Subway would sponsor the podcast. Ah, uh, that would uh, it. No, nah, it would be too rude. Mm. We could do heaps of good stuff with six inches and nuts in my mouth, white chocolate in my mouth. There's heaps of good stuff we could do. Is my audio still turned down? <laughs> <laughs> well, crazy. <laughs> Josie said the cake bill was around $2,000 at the moment. And then Drew P. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> what a name. Oh. Drew P. Balls said his cake, the code word for cocaine. <laughs> Uh, John Bill, hang on. Well, 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 Sensible question, sensible question. Can I use BBW before the suggested six to eight weeks? Yes. I'm out of. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Mission complete. Uh, I'm out of sync with my BBW and Trojan and want to make my life easier by using both at the same time going forward. Yes, that's yes. fine. No buttons for you, Clint. Okay, cool. Uh, Jonesy, where's your book? You're useless. I'm a useless <laughs> Clint. <laughs> We've got a few suggestions uh, of other words we can use instead of cunt. Uh, um, there's Clint. Sorry, keep going. I'll eat my cookie. You talk look, I, 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 um, yeah, I'm a piece of shit. It's, I've got nothing more. I'm a piece of shit. But to be honest, right, to be honest, Don't lie to us. over my left hand, Shoulder here to the left is my office and I shut the door today for the first time in pro ever and the amount of work I was able to get done. Well, you've never had a door. No. The amount of work I was able to get done this morning just for stuff here and, and you know, Lawn Hub Water Pro, it was phenomenal. So that gives me hope, it gives me clarity, it gives me the horizon that this book will be a finished piece. You might... Sooner Say that you later. are making literature great again? Yes. All right. <laughs> Clint O. Scotties are even better when you win them. They are. All right. Uh, what do we get? Here we go. Bearded Sith. It was about the my wife's dog is also. Yeah, I know, dude. Did you, you didn't hear what I said because you were reading your text. He said, well, if my wife has an infection, it's her infection, yeah, not yeah, our yeah, infection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, I did hear that. Yep. Sorry. Chose to not. Laugh because he didn't think it was funny. No, I was just... Welcome yeah. back, Sith. Jonesy just... hates you. No, 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 no. Uh, Josie said they are locals waiting to be marked as picked up. Hey, I, I thought that once they were ready for pickup that they would be fulfilled, but I guess no, they're not. Not not technically fulfilled. Yeah. And there's about 15 in the system at all time of stuff that has been cancelled that don't get marked as fulfilled. So they'll never be zero in the system. Hang on. Sensible question, sensible question. Hey, Adam. My name's hey. Reese Entley. <laughs> I think these are all the same people. What are your thoughts on the dark spots on the Kaikuya after Money Shot has been sprayed? The pick was in the Legends group. Yeah, so 
Um, I have been speaking to that gentleman. Um, Recently. Uh, no, I don't know if the uh, is the guy's name Reese. Reese Entley. You know, no, no, the guy that I'm, that's lawn. It was. One moment. Doesn't matter. Just answer the question. Anyway, uh, no, Jed is the guy's name. So, um, I've had that experience before where my nozzles weren't a hundred percent clean or spraying properly, and um, money shot like any other product when not applied properly. More so, money shot and wet. If you're not watering wet in, that is, um, you, you can have an over application, even being at a lower rate if it's not spraying correctly. Um, that was my, uh, that was my, I suppose, guess. Um, he he's just confirming the color nozzles that he used. Um, but yeah, I, I, in my opinion and my experience, it's it's a it's not a human error; it's an equipment error. Um, in my experience, which is a Human error, no. depending on the quality of the equipment. Yeah. Like if it hasn't been put together properly, that's human error. If it hasn't been manufactured properly, it's human error. Mm. If it hasn't been cleaned properly, that's human error. Yeah, well, he said he, he, said he, does, he does clean it. So, but he also, If he doesn't get cleaned well, that's human error. That, A good that, tradesperson doesn't blame their tools. Tools, that's right. But that, that's my – yeah, that would be my um, – that's my guess and, and – in my experience. Jack Chapo said, so let the entire range be walk in from Kent Town. It is. You can go into any water mm-hmm. pro store and buy the full Lawn Hub range and all of the other products that we sell. <laughs> Sorry, Christian Ritchie said, you can say baby exit or 2868 instead of the C word. Baby exit or 268. I don't know. 2868. Maybe that's the... Anyway. But yeah. You can go buy there. The only downside, if it is a downside, to buying them from WaterPro instead of from Lawn Hub is that when we have uh, giveaways on, you won't be eligible to win anything uh, on the giveaway. But if you aren't concerned about that, you can go into any of those stores along with all of the other resellers. There's so many resellers now, especially in South Australia. Um, We've got it pretty well covered. Uh, And if anyone wants to know where those stores are, there's a tab on our website called Stockists. Mm -hmm lawnhub.com.au slash sca something yeah mm. cool uh vj says we need water pro in melbourne this is going to upset a lot of people but i was going to open a water pro in melbourne and decided that i hate the whole state so much that i don't want to come to melbourne yeah. if i can avoid it and i'm sorry i just i struggle with the busyness and the weather and the traffic, the proximity of the airport to the city, I just don't like any of it. But that's an Adelaide thing, right? We're weirdos. We're fucking small town, country bumpkin, 20-minute city. So Melbourne's probably likely to be when I can send Jonesy to Melbourne (laughs) (laughs) to open the store so I don't have to go. Um, And then there was another question about stores almost – immediately after saying that was mandurang are you still going to open more water pro shops yeah it's on my mind now I, like and jonesy well, i said this to him yesterday i'm kind of done with this no now. you said it today again said it today yeah yeah i'm fucking over this place now like it's done it's half finished the rest of it's up to them now so i'll probably spend most of my next six months probably concentrating on lawn hub usa first um especially with the recent election results i'm a lot more confident starting a business in america than i was prior to the election and and that is being fully aware that i'll probably be pay, paying tariffs to punch lawn hub into the country but i'm fine with that uh and then probably brisbane yeah 2868 spells the c word on the keypad so if you want to fucking open one on philip island then yeah cool how many staff would you put there? Like 0.1? On Phillip Island? Yeah. I have water pro Phillip Island. <laughs> just go, go. What are you going to water? Just the racetrack? <laughs> I think there's more than a racetrack. Oh, it's a fucking place. So was... uh, I'm pretty sure when you consider whether Queensland is the best place to go for a new lawn store, fucking oath, and just to live. I don't know. I... Well, we got told we got told a couple of years ago that 
There's no irrigation in Queensland, but you go up there and there's irrigation. Fucking I don't everywhere. think people want us there. No, that's right, because we're a disruption to the force. Yeah, you reckon that's what it is? Yeah. Uh, Craven Moore Head. <laughs> <laughs> this is just getting fucking ridiculous now. So, Jonesy, new lawn down eight weeks ago with Got Laid. What now? I consulted your book and it said fucking nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that you're right. You fucking did say. If you said, if said, yeah, what Craven said. Yeah. Uh, look, to be honest, if the lawn is healthy, um, you could do. You could follow another round of the cherry popper pack, or until complete, doesn't really matter. Um, otherwise, I like to transition people into something like the dry college pack or the wet college pack. That gives you granules and all four liquids um, in the wet college and BBW Trojan and the other three liquids. It's going to give you a very good uh, base to start from. Obviously, from there you can branch out if you want to, you know, hit PGRs and stuff like that. Obviously, you can purchase them separately. Uh, Pre-emergence going into autumn, things like that. But as a good base, uh, it will give you an all-round, like a a catalog full of everything lawn hub related, um, and with the options then to you know go and grab other things as well. So. That's what I would look for. The dry college more so, it, the only difference is the waiting agent is BBW in the dry college, wet college is wet, hence its name. There's another question about the difference on them coming up, so yeah. hold on to that. That's all right. Um, and then, you know, I was I was 1 million percent all liquids before I started working at Lawn Hub and still uh, until I started using BBW and I've, I still use wet, but if I'm in a rush, I have... Yeah, I just use BBW because it's so easy to apply. Josie, can you please put two of my beers in the freezer? The green one and the grey one. Uh, so Nate Extreme must live on the island of Philip because they said, we have a booming population of about 14,000 these days. Our word, the one that sells the toilets, needs some competition. So yeah, there you go. There you go. Probably not. <laughs> I, didn't I don't know. know. I didn't really have anything. Where is Philip Island? Uh, it's is where, it in Victoria? It's where the racetrack is. Okay. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I actually don't know. I think it's in Victoria. Down the southeast. So it's in Victoria. Yeah. Meow, meow. yeah. <laughs> There's a population of 14,000. Yeah. How would you get there? Like I'm, I'm Conor McGregor's Lambo boat? I'm assuming. Is there a bridge? Plane, car, then, yeah. You're so geographically insensitive, eh? I don't You're know. a real piece of shit. I don't know. I fucking can't know. I've never been to Phillip Island. Yeah. Uh, Kira said, I'd volunteer for Phillip Island. Well, there you go. So we've got one staff member and 16 screens. Now all we need is a fucking warehouse and some pallet racking and we are good to go. Kira, can you tell me why? Is it the weather? Come to Mandurang. That's Mandurang. So... Mandurang is not actually a person. It's a town. Yeah, but that's that's or, the username. So this yeah. person is acting as a town. Yeah, it's the yeah. They identify as a town. Nice. They piss just wherever they want. They're like, I identify as a town. Maybe they can put the toilet rolls up in the female bathrooms. Oh uh, yeah. But let's see how long it takes for those to go up. <laughs> Did you know that? I put the um toilet paper dispensers in the men's toilets. So I screwed them to the wall today because I'm a fucking man. And I said to the girls, there's the drill and the screwdriver. Just between you guys, you can sort it out. One of you needs to mount those toilet rolls. Just waiting to see what happens. So, yeah, I thought it was funny. Equal opportunities and all that. Uh, so there is a bridge connecting Phillip Island to what? The mainland? It's where the penguins are. Not for long. Tasmania would be a better place to have a store than Phillip Island. I have to agree with you, and I do not want to go there either. It's too cold. This is a beautiful state, though. I, Celeste fucking loves it. We, mm. I, I've, we've had a very serious conversation about her going to Tasmania and me going to Queensland and the kids choosing who they want to go with for family holidays. How good is that? I'm going to Queensland. Yeah, fucking every yeah. time. Mm. And not like touristy Queensland. I'm talking like... Yeah, yeah, the good part. Coastal fucking yeah. crocodiles on the beach. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, Mr. Mumbles, I'll do sales. Oh, right, there you go. Looks like we've built a store. <laughs> Tasmania can suck a fuck. 
Jesus That's Christ. From Nate Extreme. Jesus Christ. All right. Jesus Christ. This is good. This is we've got a Tasmania versus Phillip Island. Both got the same population, except um Tasmania's um all stream from uh four people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, we just lost Tasmania. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Clint must be really bothered by the screen situation, Jaron. I don't know how many screens Kira's got, and I'm also concerned about how many of you fucking staff are sitting around listening to a podcast instead of working. But, hey, when your boss is talented, you got to listen, right? <laughs> <laughs> is, his, is his laugh twice today? More than Kira. Okay. There was something intelligent up here before that was said. J- Jack me off. Is the new machines going yet and set up? No. So PackServe, which is the company that supplied our liquid machine for anyone that wants to replicate what we're doing, uh, they are driving down to the, one of the sales guys and a technician called Sean are cruising down here next week. I told you they asked where they should stay. And I said, just get the, as far away from here as possible. Oh, hang on. So I said, if you want to enjoy yourself, <laughs> that's not what. Can I, I read this? I suppose. I guess so. Mm. Uh, so Jonesy just got an email from someone. I won't say their name just in case. Saying, "Hey mate, I just heard Clint ask jokingly, do you reckon Subway would sponsor the podcast? I know a guy that might be able to help. I'm a Subway franchisee with four stores: <laughs> Salisbury Plains, Manapara. That's fucking perfect. Mm. Manap- I just bought yeah. fucking cookies from you, dude. Eat fresh. <laughs> <laughs> also, not a child molester. Mm. So killing two birds with one stone." Or is the Jared thing the Jared thing still a problem? I think we just lost Subway as a sponsor. <laughs> but fuck, uh, uh, yeah. So regardless of if you sponsor us, it's fine. They those cookies are legit. I've bought from you guys twice since we've been here. The undercooking of the cookies may not be something that Subway sponsors, but or supports, but it's how they're meant to be cooked. That's right? Exactly right. Don't fucking cook them for too long. Also, this might upset you because you're the franchisee. But they gave me three cookies yesterday instead of the two I ordered. I thought it was really good, so I gave you a five-star review. Uh, maybe we could work out a deal. Low scale, feed your team, podcast day, positive comments about the stores. Maybe we shouldn't have read that out. All right, cool. Um, we are pretty transparent, though, so you're going to get <laughs> well, that. Well, you said that yeah. before you read I didn't that. finish reading. Yeah. Okay. Mm. I think I just lost the sponsor. But those cookies are fucking legit, dude. Mm. So if you are going to buy... If you're going to buy Subway from anywhere in South Australia, I would only encourage you to buy cookies from Manapara, 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 Manapara Salisbury, Salisbury. Because they know how. Look at this. Look at this. And my look at this, Right? You should be able to grab a Subway cookie and do that. That's what's meant to happen, right? So, yeah. Thanks. It's my God born right. For a Subway cookie to be like oh, that. Sometimes they get overcooked and you just want to fucking throw them. But the person that delivered them is not the person that mm. fucked it up. It's the person in the shop. You literally use them as a Frisbee. You kill some, They're ninja stars, mm. not Frisbees. You kill people with some of those cookies, but not these ones. No. You just kill these ones with kindness, right? Um, okay, so maybe we've got a... Yeah, I wonder if they got their own water, Jonesy. Um, TikTok, Joe Bogan says, cunts is a nice, is a good word. C-U-N-C-E. Oh, cunts. Oh, yes. Um, and TikTok, Chi Hu says, back to work, boys. Come on. This is our job. We're mm. getting paid. Well, I'm not getting paid, but he is. Um, lads, I got your pack recently and already working wonders. How often can I apply roots and shoots from Matt Kappa? Every four to six weeks. Um, and if you want to go off label, don't, don't, but you won't do too much damage. Uh, the journey of like Jay. I'm stuck in East Timor, lads. What a shithole. Well, you could leave. What's happening in East Timor? There's no conflict there at the moment, is there? Not sure. Not with Trump in charge, mate. No more wars. So, yeah, that's... I'm sorry to hear. I don't know if you're serious, but um, could you leave? Yeah, that's... What are the options? Plane, boat, swim. Helicopter. Maybe not. But plane, boat, swim. (laughs) (laughs) Snorkel. Damo, Clint fulfills me every time. We have to meet Damo one day. It's been never. Uh, what's your heart of cut? Says lawn beers are always a winner. Yep. Unless you're mowing with no shoes on. Pablo, is there new merch on the way? Apparently. Not not new merch, but 
a restock. You know damage. what? Again, now this seems to be obviously we've got more than two people watching the podcast. This is great. If anyone actually like, and this you can't just be like, oh yeah, I do merch. Like, come and sit here with me for ten minutes and show me all the merches you can do and what it would cost, how quickly you could turn it all around. <laughs> Apparently, these are made by Bakels. I wouldn't doubt it. Mm. I think we just ruined, ruined it. So you can buy. What happened to your Cole's birthday cake cookies, Clint? Fucking hell, VJ. I'd moved on from that. Like I'd reconciled the pain and it was all good. And then you just fucking tore open that wound. <sighs> People have tried. Actually, a friend of mine has a friend who just closed a cookie shop. And I said to him, can you ask her if she can just make these for me cash? So maybe. 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 We don't have that button. Hillary Clinton will be the next president of the United States of America. Hillary, Michelle. Can't be Hillary. She's already lost. Mm. She'll probably not really be around in the next four years. No, nah, he'll leave her alone. Uh, don't forget to add the car freshener to the bucket. Do I get the first merch bucket, Mr. Mumbles? Was it Mr. Mumbles' idea? I thought it was Skazer's idea. You guys have to arm wrestle for it. It all morphs into one. You need to hire more people so they don't sit around and entertain us too. So they sit around and entertain us too. Suburb of Bendigo, population over 100,000 and climate similar to Adelaide. Yeah. Nath Mandurang. He's changed his name. Man, Bendigo, I spent some oh, time so on Oh, so Bendigo, there. that's where the bridge lands. Is that right? Hey, Google. When you get on the bridge from Phillip Island, where do you get off? San Remo. Past the bridge. <laughs> Sam Remo Bridge? Fuck, they must be doing well. Sold so much pasta, they got themselves a bridge. Well, they're the largest pasta supplier in Australia, so that's got to come with some. KB used to work at the San Remo factory here in Adelaide. My wife's uncle used to work at the San Remo factory and he does not talk nicely about them at all. But that can happen. So it's not always the business. Some staff just get angry for no reason. Bendigo is central. Victoria. Can someone just fucking tell me? Oh, M Mumbles is Skays. All right, same person. Cool. All sorted. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, we did know that. Also, from what I understand, he didn't have the nickname Skays until us. Mm hmm. Skazer. Uh, they're all answered. I wonder if my beers are cold yet. You want to get fucked up? Not tonight. No, I'm fucking. I'm probably in bed early tonight. I think. We can do both. Mm. It's only sixteen minutes to get home now. Mm. Mine's not like that anymore. <laughs> That's what it used to be. Mm. Now I have to fucking fly a helicopter. Sorry for eating on the podcast, guys. I'm really hungry. Um. There'd be some people that would be into that. <laughs> the bridge lasts two seconds. As in, okay, Bendigo is the centre of Victoria. Can someone please tell me? Craven Moorhead, names are good. Nath Mandurang, you guys need a Jamie. We've got two. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Um, San Remo, no. We have those cookies in Queensland. Goffy's ringing me, trying to sell me some sponsorship. Should I answer? No. <laughs> well, there's no questions. Jonesy for nut grass. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Sensible question, sensible question. Craven Moorhead. Jonesy for nut grass. Is it best to use sledgehammer or brush glypho? Either. Glyso. Either. And it's not called sledgehammer. Sedgehammer. Either. But. If you're not interested in getting on your hands and knees and painting it. We've got to get those fucking shafts sorted we out. Do. Piece of shit again. <sighs> do you think you'll get better? I hope so. Because you do okay. Yeah. So a better version of you could be good. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, if you don't want to get on your hands and knees and paint them, paint the uh, nut grass, then yeah, Sedgehammer, Halo Force, same, same. Do you think I should spray my back lawn with juke? Is there still ryegrass? Fuck. Yeah. Go on. 200 square metres of lawn 
and money shot for 400 square meters, as in they want to buy lawn. What was that? Sorry. Uh, he asked me the other day if we could – he wanted to sell me some marketing and I said no. And then he said, can my – I goes, um, can you help me with money shot for 400 square meters? And I said yes. And he said – how do we do this? I'm like, you get a bottle of money shot. And he goes, can Mudgy apply it? And I said, no. And he said, but he's the goat. I'm like, you guys don't, won't want to pay the $5,000. <laughs> he's like, how I'm coming to work for you. I'm like, he doesn't get the $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I think he wants some money shot for, oh, hey man. That's just one bottle, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. For like, it's half a bottle. What's money shot? 800 or 1,000 or 400? It's 400 mm. at, at max right? So there was a question before about um, wet and BBW mm -hmm. and which is better. And you obviously were talking before about BBW being your chosen. Sorry, no, if chosen, you're in a hurry. Yeah, if I'm in a hurry. If i got the time, i use wet. But we did post a thing the other day about I did it on, on I think, Lawn Hub. I was saying how I put BBW out and someone said, oh, it takes a while to wash in. I'm like, no, it doesn't. But then I'm finding that it did. And so you are actually mowing sometimes while the BBW still hasn't completely. And it's not likely you're going to pick it up. But. No, and because BBW is green's great, it does make its way through. But, yeah, there are – it obviously can take time to break down because BBW is the raw element of zeolite, which is a natural mineral that, you know, will take time to dissolve and break down. They will do the same job, however. Um, if you want something that's fast acting, the liquid's <laughs> going to be f much faster and you'll physically be able to – Oh, my God. That was, for, like, for real. <laughs> Kira's got six screens on the go deal. Bruh. And I've got none. <laughs> I think that one's being held by Jaren. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. How the fuck did you get fucking four? Oh, he's turned Sorry, his he around, around. And then he's held more over there. Nice one, guys. You know, you could probably have done that. Oh, she's done it. That's No, she's just edited that. I've gone real practical and gone, Jaren's holding them like, oh, my <laughs> fucking shoulder. Okay. They're shaking, man. She hasn't removed the label off her bottle. Not sponsored. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they, if if you want a quicker, faster acting result, wet's going to be the answer. If, if you can be bothered filling up your pressure sprayer. Yeah, and, if you can, yeah, be bothered doing all that. Uh, otherwise, yeah, BBW. Uh, it's BBW is such a better product than those available readily at a certain... <laughs> Uh, hardware store i was sworn off granular wetting agents when i used that for the first time i actually fucking just threw it straight over the back fence because we had no neighbors then i was like this is fucking shit and yep yeeted it and then i started here and i've said this before i was like why the fuck do we sell granular wetting agent and then i used it and i was like oh shit that's pretty good so josie can you please bring me the green can the cold one sure i don't want some Nah, I'm good, thank you. Make you feel funny and warm inside. It will, but I don't think it's going to shake this headache that I got. Oh, no. That's the, it, that's <laughs> all it does. <laughs> okay. Uh, so there's been a bit of an update around the bridge. Okay. So Bendigo is in central Victoria. Correct. Central of the gold fields. Uh, <laughs> Where'd it go? These, are these reshuffling? They wouldn't be reshuffling, would they? I wouldn't have thought so. Okay, while I'm looking, uh, VJ wants to know how far are you from party holes new with this new location? We, he, so that's senior. We need him on a podcast. Uh, well, I'm 16 and senior will be probably 19 minutes. Daniel Pittman, lads, any jobs going? I'm keen if you can match what I'm currently on. We don't work like that. Um, the picker packer roll, what's that? Thirty two dollars and six cents an hour, and they're all fulfilled now. So, yeah, we wouldn't look to match anything unless you're getting paid twenty two. We can match that. <laughs> Do you want me to come to you? You don't want to be famous. All right, cool. Yeah, if they're really cold. All right, bye, TikTok. 
Can I have my fucking? That's a nice label. Can I have my um, lime cordial, please? Oop, fuck. Which way am I going? Yeah, this is really good. So there was um, there was someone anyway. They were talking about San Remo and shit, but it's gone. Daniel Pittman said, "Lol, I don't think he wants the job now." Because he works in the bakery, doesn't he? Or is he the storeman? Why am I? Are you getting weird feedback? Yeah. Well, Izzy, what the fuck are you doing, man? <laughs> Dylan's just given up. Dylan's gone. Yeah, Dylan's just doing what he wants now. He'd be downstairs making movies. All right. There's no more questions. We don't have to keep doing this. What do people want to see in the weekly cut this week? Discount wise. Do people use the discount in the weekly cut? Yeah, they did the other week. Was that the amateur pack? Golf course green. Dylan's just gone to do some stair climbs. He's like, oh shit, I better get back. While to you me. were gone, Izzy completely fucked the audio up. It sounds like someone just grabbed a dildo and held it to the microphone. It's just like... That's an accurate description too. <laughs> That's very accurate. <laughs> 32 per hour on my way from Melbourne now. Hey, also, Pitto if that's what they call you, DP, if you'd like that instead. Uh, 20, sorry, $32 an hour in Adelaide. You want to make some more fucking noise, Dylan? <laughs> How do you, you know what? Here's a tip when trying to fix an audio problem. Don't make heaps of noise. <laughs> He's doing solo ones now. Sorry. Um, <laughs> you like that one? But I did. DP. The best part, I oh know it's PJ is coming for thirty-two dollars an hour. The best part about thirty-two dollars an hour in Adelaide, it buys you twice as much shit, and you get it twice as fast because you don't have to sit in shitty Victorian traffic. But that wasn't Pittman saying that; that was PJ. All right, here we go. Nate Extreme finally got me some fucking solid information. Phillip Island is roughly two hours south of Melbourne. The bridge to the island starts in San Remo and lands in New Haven. Cowes is the main town of the island and is about fifteen minutes from the bridge. The bridge starts in San Remo, ends in New Hope. Hang on, that's the same shit. PJ, he just told me this. Are they the same person? I don't know. What are you doing on the weekend, Jonesy? Uh, golf tomorrow. Second uh, second round of qualifying for club champs. Not going to make it. Oh, that's not as good as it was yesterday. Had a shocker last week. Um, and then if I'm going to be honest... I, no, lie to us. Just make up some shit. I will either continue reading the book that I'm reading at the moment. Um, You're reading a book? I am. I, I, it's quite fascinating, actually. It's The Great Train Robbery by, uh, by Michael Crichton. Um, Sorry, I wasn't listening. That's was right. It's, to... I'm reading The Great Train oh. Robbery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Is it about Clint Eastwood? No, it's uh, yeah, Great Train Robbery by Michael Crichton, uh, set in the 1880s. Uh, it's quite... It's quite Starring Mark Wahlberg. Starring... Um, they drive minis? No, nah, there's horse and carriage back in them days. But um, How do you think you would have gone back then? You know, it's, it's one of those things that I think you just, you, you just have to adapt. That's all you know, right? Yeah, that's all you know. But do you, you as your current... Do you think you were one of those guys that would just be like... You're working in the at the post office and you're just a loser. Not currently in those those days. Or you're like fucking you're right. the guy that goes and stands out there on the dirt and just like yeah. we're on. That that'd be me. I'd be the slinging coal type yeah. person. I reckon Ervo would have just fucking shot heaps of people. He would have shot all the people. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> So what? We can just fucking shoot people if we disagree with them? Mm. Fuck yeah. Um just come over and open it next to the microphone. Yeah, just, you know what, Dylan here. But Sunday, no, Sunday, and I, I know this is very... What's in my bag? Um, is is such a waste of time, but I'm thinking I'm due for a good sleep in on Sunday, if I'm being brutally honest. Um, I didn't feel well at the start of the week, um, and it, I got better, and now I'm... I'm properly exhausted now. Um, I'm Jack Chapo said, why two of your beers? Why did you not offer others in the room a beer? Do you want a beer? Huh? <laughs> the fuck, it has a cheek on him. <laughs> uh, Izzy, do you drink beer? 
Oh, that's awkward. Okay, Izzy, do you want a beer? No? Okay, cool. See, no one wants a beer, Jack. If we, if we had... It, okay, let me rephrase. If we had Heineken's here, I'd have No. One. So the answer to the question... But not one of those beers. I didn't expect anyone else that would want a beer, especially with the ones I've got, especially considering Dylan has to drive... Oh, and that's got a oat. while. And that's got oat in it. Especially considering Dylan, Dylan has to drive. We're over here now. We're going to do a podcast. Yeah, you yeah. guys be besties just for right. two seconds, please. So especially considering Dylan has to drive four hours to get home. But... I don't on? have my fridge here. No. So there's not a lot of beer options, so I'm going to selfishly just keep the beers. That's going to be a mission. Am I wearing a hat? Yep. That's going to be a mission getting that here. That's really annoying. That's... Something's obviously... Something's wrong in the matrix here. Uh, you can answer this question. Lawn Hub Legends memes, thoughts, question mark. Yeah, if you guys want to make them. Like we said, that group's un- unmoderated. I think he's just looking for some positive feedback. Oh, some yeah. I do like the memes, especially the ones that contain us, which is all of them. So yeah, I like see, all of them. <laughs> oh, yeah. Got fuck all yeah, she's got nothing to do, but yeah. it's still happening, by the way. The noise. Oh, Jonesy's we'll golf bag. Jonesy Sorry, I thought they were talking about money. Oh, All right. What's in your bag? Oh, we're going to do what? I've never done a what's in the bag. I'm quite excited. <laughs> So, I have, should we start, we'll start with the big D, start with the big D, I've got a Sim 2 Max D, um, currently in 10 and a half degrees, uh, I've got a Nike 3 wood, it's a green one, I can't, uh, fuck, can't remember the name of it right now. Tiger? I've, nah, it's, fuck, what is it? Tiger wood? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nike Green Three Wood Viper. What I'll say while he's talking about that, I've got twenty four Strixen Vapor. Z Star refurbs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sorry, uh, keep going. Uh, so yeah, Nike Three Wood a Vapor. Um, I've got a Three Hybrid, which is a Cobra, the Rapid Speed. Fucking that bombs. That's a good club. That one. Ford to pitching wedge, I got the Mizuno JPX 900 forged. Uh, wedges are 50, 54, 58 are the RTX zip cores by Cleveland. And my putter is a Scotty Cameron new select. Dylan's looking to do a performance review. <laughs> and my chosen ball of preference is the Titleist Pro V1. So am I on? I have a black golf bag. <laughs> Uh, it's a golf god's golf bag, a stand bag. My driver is a, what is it? A Strixon X, ZX1. My irons are new, they're ping. Whatever the most expensive pings you can buy are. I don't know. Ping... Iron. And then I run a 58 and a 52 Cleveland. My irons are bent up two degrees, but my wedges are not. G430. Yeah. Is that right? Sounds about right. And my current GA is 30, I think it's at 40 now, 40.2 or something. Nah, 36 point something. We looked at yeah. it yesterday. <laughs> you looked at it yesterday? Yeah, because um, the, the Australian... The Golf Australia open days for Royal Adelaide Grange and Glenelg yep. are all open, and yeah, it's yeah. one of those. I think it's the G seven thirty. Yeah, it's definitely not the blade on the left. It's definitely not that one. Yeah. Oh, they look more familiar. G four thirties. Yeah, it's it's one of those ones. It's not the seven thirty. It's that. It's the four thirty. Yeah, the four thirty. Maybe. Oh, hang on. I don't think it's the cavity back. The, or the blueprints. No, nah, I don't think it's the blueprints either. I think it's the three, the that one. 30s, yeah. Looks kind of like that. Mm. It's got the screw and the little divot thing there. Unless you've got the 425s, not the 430s. I don't know the difference. Just I just go to the place and they said, I went and got my, my iron sized and they were like, we need to get them bent up two degrees. And I was like, oh, that's what the last guy said. And he's like, yeah, well, that probably hasn't changed. And I'm like, yeah, but I just thought he was wrong because I've just been hitting slices since then and I just figured it was the clubs. Mm. He's like, no, you're just a shit golfer. Mm. 
I was like, oh, and when will they be out, ready? <laughs> yeah, it turns out it doesn't matter how long you wait, you still don't get the colour groups you want either. Oh, so. shout out to that golf course. <laughs> 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 I don't want to upset them. We're about to sponsor them. Um, no, it's not the golf course. No, it's fault the, the pro course. shop can't fucking order club handles. Anyway, uh, I use Srixen Z Star refurbs. I think I've still got some that Janae gave me actually. When you, I caddied for her. You got a whole box of golf balls in that shed. As in not like a 12 box or 200 box, an yeah. eBay special. eBay special. Uh, what are we doing here? Oh, I'm Fuck. fucking lost. Sorry. That was me easy. Uh, we've got a few actual questions. Can You can buy Subway cookies frozen. They are made by bakels. I'm sure they can't just sell you fucking their They're cookies. not selling to the public. No. You can steal them and sell them to me. We had a mate that used to do that at Hungry Jack's. He used to hide the stuff in the bin out. Side and we just anyway. Uh, Carl, statute of limitations. Yeah, we should be clear. Can your Trojan be used in vegetable gardens? Look, it's not gonna, it's you can, yes, but there's better fertilizers out there for vegetable gardens than Trojan. If it's all you've got, yes, but I would um, look for something that's probably a little bit less in nitrogen and more in phosphorus and potassium. What's your HOC? Said, yo, dude, that's me. What's your HOC is height of clothing? Yeah. Well, no one knows that. Yeah, they send us shirts. I um, understand that. Ashley, yeah. But Ashley? I've just been saying what's your height of cut because the acronym yeah. is height of cut. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I know. I won't make that mistake no. again. Fuck. Ashley? I think her name's Ashley. Well, I fucked that up. Why don't you tell me this shit? You make me look like an idiot. Alicia. Well, now you look like an idiot. Yeah, I do. I fucking do. Fucking like just two idiot. idiots here looking like idiots. Yeah. Four, maybe. <laughs> he like that one. You're a fuckhead. You need to laugh at that shit more. <laughs> Izzy made a vocal laugh. I want laughs that they can hear on the other end yeah. so that the audience know to laugh as well. So just overdo it. Now that we're in the same thing, you wait till we put glass there and no one can fucking hear you. So what happened to um, what, why, why were we shitty before on, this, on the audio? It's likely that those cables have been warped on. Yep, one is two and two is one. No, two is one and one is none. Shout out to those Navy SEALs. I'm really sorry about that. Uh, Carl says, what's your club brand of choice, Jonesy? Uh, Gay. My irons <laughs> is... That's good. Well done, Izzy. Uh, yeah, my Mizuno is for my irons. Uh, and I don't, with driver, I don't like the look of any other driver other than the tailor-mades. I don't care what brand, like, I don't care what model it is. I cannot stand the way the, the Callaway. You like the pink, you don't like the pink driver? The one that Ovo like, plays a pink driver, doesn't he? He used to, now he plays the triple diamond paradigm. But I just don't like the head shape of the other drivers. It just doesn't suit my eye. I really like the look of a tailor-made driver. Mm. My, I hit them all the same. Except at X Golf the other week. Yeah, that the, first shot was really 320 good. meters, whatever it was. <laughs> fucking smashed it. Yeah. My driver's like a dance move from one of those fucking like Broadway shows. It's just like. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see if there's any more questions. Otherwise, we'll wind this shit up. I'm going to go home so I can go out to baseball training and T ball. Nice. Um, and get harassed. Do you know, they made the sign for the fence without telling me. So we sponsor this baseball club. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I can already, I already know. I, without knowing, have you got a photo of it? Yeah, I've got an idea of what it looks like in my head. And I said to him, he goes, "Oh, we went and got the sign made because you'd never got back to us." And I was like, "Cool. If it's wrong, you can throw it in the bin." Mm. And he's like, "So he sent me a photo." And I was like, "Okay, oh. okay. <laughs> oh, that's better. Than it's okay. I thought, that's better. I expected it to be stretched like the logo, and I was like, oh god. This, so my vision was this, the panel was white, mm. and Lawn Hub was in black. In a square, yeah. yeah. That, yeah. That's no, they I did have. okay. Yeah, that actually looks okay. So that'll go up at the club, and then I guess I'll know that it's gone up when all the other clubs are like, hello, we just wanted to touch base and yeah. gauge but, your interest in sponsoring my <laughs> son in his racing car. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you sponsor one race car, and then all of a sudden. You Actually, we got an email from them this week. I've mm. got to respond. Actually, I should respond to Barry. Um, I, th I think there's a few people that we need to get back to. I yeah, know, a few things. I but... know. I keep. I saw a fucking tall guy. Mm. I still owe him an irrigation system. It's getting better, dude. Eventually, I'll probably just yeah, send you a so, car. Yeah, so I've got all the details. It's with them. So. Okay, cool. That's good. You, you take care of that. Mm. Uh, all right. Any other things? Any other stuff? Dylan's got to take the four-hour trek home. 
It wouldn't take that long to get what on, the fuck? would it, Dylan? Uh, Ooh. I haven't done the direct. Ooh. Emotional damage. 45 minutes. Have you tried driving a man's car? Yeah, but at Dry Creek, you have to come out, wait, get out, <laughs> boom. Here, it's just... <laughs> uh, I like having Izzy here. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said, sorry. I said, have you tried driving a man's oh, car? Oh, yeah. And Izzy laughed. He thought it was funny. We haven't had anyone bring up, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> Lawn Hub's actual page, if you're on Lawn Hub's page on Facebook, there's a BYD owners club that keeps coming up. Like, as you know how you got like, do you want to join? Yep. <laughs> it's just a fucking, I'm like, how the fuck has that become a thing on there? Like, all our phones are around while we're talking about it anyway. Just happens to be on Lawnup's page, so. Oh. Celeste sent me a, a photo of one of my children wearing a Premier's Reading Challenge medal. And I wrote, did she win? And she wrote, no, they all get a medal. She just wanted me to take a picture and send it to you. She read 12 books this Well, it this doesn't matter if they all get a medal. That means you might yeah. as well not all get a medal. Because when I was at school, you couldn't get a medal unless you actually read the books. Yeah, well, she so, probably did. She loves reading, but... Yeah, I never got the book. Why can't they have someone win, like the one who read the most books? Mm. It should be more competitive. It should be. We're going to hell in a handbasket. Because life is competitive. <sighs> it will be for the next four years for some bloody country. Mm. No more handouts. Is there anything else? Any other agenda? Did anyone say what they want to see in the discount oh, for this week? Fuck. Okay. Okay. Daniel Pittman, Clint Lawn update. Back lawn is looking relatively good. I'm still having issues in the middle where I think there's a soil issue and I have a ryegrass still sticking around. That's crazy. But it's in pretty good condition. Um, I've been is. watering it pretty aggressively. I haven't applied anything more to it since Trojan Mini. What do you reckon, deal? Three weeks ago, four weeks ago? When did I put the fertilizer down? Been a while. Mm. It's looking good. Like, if the whole lawn looked as good as the best parts of the lawn, Front lawn, I'm not sure what's going on. I think I need to dethatch it. Mm. There's a bit of shit going on there, but I don't know how. Can I do a verti cut on the front without? If I just be careful. If you be careful, yeah. yeah I don't think that's going to happen. Can <laughs> you come and do a verti cut on my front lawn? Sure. Nate Extreme, Trump is going to save the world. Yes, he fucking mm -hmm. is. Well, at least I hope he is. I hope he does all the things he said he was going to do. I saw today that um, RFK Junior started the process of investigating a lot of things around health and. Um, you know, additive related things. I'm not going to say too many words because this <laughs> just get fucking ripped apart. But yeah, if they do all the stuff that he says he was going to do, I think we're going to be, the world will be safer and better. But there's also, who, I only know what I know. Who knows? There might be another level that I don't fully understand. Uh, Jack Chapo, one of the rentals has limited access. Can I seed, spread Trojan, give it 10 mil, then spray NSFW and roots and shoots immediately afterwards? No. Um, that's, a, that's a lot going on there as well. Yeah, I think the only thing you could do if you wanted to get in once and get out would be spray NSFW as a tank mix with the roots and shoots if that's what you own. And that's it. If you could only do one thing. Or you put the Trojan down and don't do the NSFW, but obviously if there's weeds. Yeah. I mean, you might be better off if it's a rental just having green weeds yeah. than... Green is good. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. I hope that answers that question. Uh, that's my lawn update. Clint, oh, shoddy the can. Clint, no, I can't. I've got 30 minutes to drive. If I shoddy this one, I'll start drinking another one. Um, Bearded Sith, another golf day then. Well, yeah, well, am I going to play golf? Is that what you were saying? I'm going to play golf somewhere? No, we were looking at your handicap because for the Golf Australia Open, there's a handicap limit yeah. of 27. Yeah, that's normal. Yeah, so you wouldn't be able to play in that is what I was... I reckon I could. You probably could. <laughs> I reckon I'd work, work a way in there. You're not meant to. The other 36 handicappers around, probably not. No. I'm all... That, because this is, again, this is the argument about phones in schools. Fuck your rules. If my kid wants to have his phone, he's going to have his phone, but he won't use it. The reason that that rule's in place is because of speed of play. Yeah, 100%. And you're the, and I oh, you're the opposite ball up. end yeah. of speed of play. I will just pick up my ball and scratch it and continue on. So, yeah. 
I would just play it like a 27. So I'd have my, if there wasn't a two point, if it wasn't one point, I'd pick up. So I'd be putting for one and then I'd just go nut. That, that's the same thing. Yeah, 100% the same thing. All right. Zio, Zio. Small country town, only got 50 50 Sandy Loam mix available. Fine for top dress on Kaikuya? Question mark. Yep. Yep. Or take 50% of the loam out of it. <laughs> Sieve it out. No. Nah. The, that would be that was shitty advice. Sorry, man. That would that that is. <laughs> I'm just. I've got this vision in my head of someone just sitting there going, <laughs> "That's <"Sand."> loam, <laughs> loam." <laughs> Clint, oh, what's your handicap? Um, I worry too much about what people say, and I like carbohydrates too much. <laughs> nah, what is it? What did you say it was? Thirty six point something. Yeah, thirty six yeah. point two or thirty six point six. Yeah, I think thirty six point six. Um. Yeah, mine blew out last week because I had a fucking shit round. I've still got rounds from 2016 in my handicap. That's cra- that's fucking crazy. That would have been the old handicap system as well. Yeah, yeah. And back then I was 32. Anyway, yeah, do you wow. know what all this means, Dylan? No. Nah. Yeah, I've. It's not worth. Um, I've blown it's out. Not worth the learning. Seven point seven. <laughs> Zio, I'm glad that thought it was funny. Already gone to Coles to grab a sieve. Cheers, boys. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's just written here. Like some of my answers are so direct, and I assume the audience is all the same person, right? <laughs> like Skase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like fucking mm. rip it. Bearded Kira. Mm. Yeah, and just go. Uh, Bearded Sith, when is the OG golf day? Is that is that what we're doing? Flying all these motherfuckers down here and playing golf? Maybe. If we, I mean, it sounds like something. We've no, spoken. we should all fly to Queensland and play golf. Mm. Yeah. Uh, 2026. <laughs> the Adelaide 500 want lawn delivered Sunday. <sighs> nope. Well, fucking just like everyone else in South Australia, too late. Tuesday would be the earliest. Plus, we don't sell lawn. Yeah. Selling lawn's a mugs game. Selling lawn's just a race to the bottom, and it's not fun. That's not our that's not our forte. No. Uh I don't sell lawn. Daryl. Thanks for helping. People don't realise how good I am. Uh Bearded Sis says film a match between Clint and Adam. Mega views. Could we do that? Yeah. Would they let us do it at Dirty Creek? Yeah, I just don't think it'd get would get mega views if I'm being honest. We could do uh, one where you play with your actual handicap and every can of beer you drink during the round, you get a shot back. Oh, yeah. That could be something. Because you won't drink as much. Depends how they're going down. You, you've seen me in fine form. Sith, give us some rules. Rules for what? The, the fucking how to get the mega views. What are the rules? Like oh, you only get you. three clubs or Jonesy has to fucking – I get to throw sand in his left eye before we start. Like, I mean, there is a handicap system for a reason. We there could just is. play yeah, that. Yeah, you just play Stableford to your handicap. Yeah. Plus the beers. Plus the beers. Um, can't do that here. Go to California and for every milligram of gummy you have is another shot. Fuck, that sounds like you'd end up in the lake with the gators. No, it's California, bro. Yeah, isn't there? Gators That's Florida, there? bro. Florida. So, oh, yeah. It's a different part of the country. Decent distance from there. Yeah. Uh, Bob does golf style. Bob does golf. Do you know what that is? Yeah, Bob does sports. I don't, all I know is... No, they do golf as well. Bob uh, does sports. I was going to say, I've only ever seen... What's that guy called? Kevin Hart. <laughs> he does stuff. Uh, Lee Cox, will you guys be at the Adelaide 500 this year? Uh, I will be. Jonesy won't be. He's not invited. He's got work to do. I've got lots of work to but, do. But um, I'll be there on the Friday. We've got a, a corporate box. I'll be sitting up there sipping whatever shit Cooper's beer they have there. Hopefully well, it's not Cooper's. Hopefully it's part of The off. corporate that we did last year is banned this year because of, <laughs> cause of people like us. So It was pretty was, clearly pointed out that it was us. Yeah. So, but Which is completely unfair because... Like I, my thing is, if you don't want people to be drunk, yeah, don't give them alcohol and don't serve up delicious packages like they did. Mm. It's yeah. a good spread of food as well. It's actually a good, I didn't eat. I don't think I ate. 
I had a lot of champagne. You, you had a lot of a uh, lot of what was there ciders and because I don't think yeah I don't think you were on the beers. It would have been the champagne. Be, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Did you get invited? The yeah, he was there. He yeah. did go. That's Cause, right. Because the media, back when we used to want you around. Because the his. The media person was his That's friend. That's right. This is the time when the Adelaide 500 reneged on a deal they made with us and lost us as a sponsor for all events moving forward ever. There you go. Yes. Jonesy. Ooh. I was quite, quite rude at that moment in time, wasn't I, Dylan? Yeah. You fucking tell her. <laughs> um, Jonesy plays with op shop clubs. Break, yeah. break 100. I could, absolutely, I could be a part of that. And then Nath Mandurang says, how long can you drive? <laughs> My then, longest drive recorded. And then he says, who has the BYD? What's it like? <laughs> <laughs> My longest drive recorded was 318 metres, but I average around 260. Hmm. I'd say I'll probably hit 240. If the ones that go straight. Hmm. I don't. Yeah, I'm going through a swing change, but I don't hit the ball as far, but it goes straight in. If people could, if you, if someone could dial me in, oh, two eighty plus. Yeah, I'd say two eighty to three hundred. Mm. But Ervo hits decent. He's yeah, three hundred. He's ah, uh, he's twenty meters ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, he hits a fucking long ball. He fucking hits a hard ball too. Ooh, loser of each hole downs a fireball shot. Mm. There's only yeah. eighteen holes. That's easy. We're gonna have to get dropped off that day. There's no way I'm driving home that day. If you have enough of that, I can't even go in a car. I can't even be a passenger. Up <laughs> <laughs> have you ever heard the stories about me not being car ready? Yeah. I've, <laughs> Do you know yeah. about that? <laughs> this is like, I can't go in a car. Yeah. Well, how are you going to go home? I'll walk. Yeah, I'll just wait. Yep. Yeah. Everything's spinning. Celeste had to pick me up once. I was on Paynham Road. Was it Paynham Road? Portrush Road. In someone's front yard under their tap, just drinking water in the fucking front yard. <laughs> Could you imagine if you did that now and it was one of our fans' house? <laughs> Clint! <laughs> fuck, quick, get on the, get on the page. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm looking for beetle. <laughs> <laughs> did a soapy water test. That's not vomit, man. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Nathan Mandrang, no one has a BYD. It's a running joke. Um, Dylan is going to come out. Yeah, for, for one With millisecond, he was like... He he's was still going to get... You're going to get one, are you? Oh, yeah. yeah. He doesn't give a fuck about what you think. He, he's just going to do what's right for him. Yeah, right? Independent thinker. Nath Mandarin, pretty similar to myself, I also tailor-made. <laughs> Craven Moorhead, or the loser of each hold downs three Subway cookies. <laughs> oh, that'd be fucking... That'd be a dose It'd be view. good for a hole. <sighs> Uh, g'day, gents. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> sensible question, sensible question. G'day, gents. Applied some acelopra and then found out my cousin had a scarifier, so I did a small reno a couple of days after, which wasn't planned. Do I need to reapply my acelopra? Nah, it's all good. If you watered it in, it's in the soil and you are fine. We haven't had a good prime minister since John Howard. Oh, that's not it. Mission complete. <laughs> oh, high school, PTSD. <laughs> See that? That's the kind of laughter I expect. That's someone who genuinely feels guilty about not laughing when I say things that are meant to be funny. <laughs> All right, let's call this. Fuck, it's 4 or 6. I've got to go. Um, hey, I'm an innocent bystander. That's, the, that's the cue. How, how is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, we're memes now. We're gifts. What was, could have been. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Oh, everyone have a great and safe weekend and we'll catch you same time next week. Goodbye.